Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel Supreme Learning Academy. So in my last video, so we are discussing about chapter life process class 10. So in last video, respiration and nutrition part is done. This is next part transportation in life process. We are going to learn about four topics. One is transport, uh, nutrition, respiration, transportation and excretion. So nutrition and respiration video is done. Go check out my channel and today is transportation part so don't learn as question answers because they will not give same question type because they will twist the questions and give so that's why you have to learn the topics what do you mean by arteries what do you mean by vein what is capillaries we have to understand that first so if you understand whatever question it they may ask you can answer it so if you uh, read like a question answers you are not able to answer twisted questions so learn as the topic what do you mean by this topic that topic you have to cover if you cover that by understanding whatever question they may twist you can answer easily so that's why i am giving this type of notes this is just like notes so you see if they may ask about arteries you can write this this is it, it covers whole thing so by this you can understand the topic about arteries and you can understand the definition if they ask you can easily answer the question so likewise this is this is the notes okay learn like this don't learn li like uh, question and answers okay so let's get started so transportation so in human being transportation transportation means movements so in human beings transport mainly transportation is blood so the main transport system in human being is the circulatory system it consists of blood arteries veins capillaries and heart so transportation occurs in this uh, this one system blood arteries veins see just a minute blood arteries veins capillaries and heart so this is our transportation system circulatory system so we in uh, so now we are going to learn about blood arteries vein capillaries and heart what do you mean by this so blood what do you mean by blood so blood function of blood and uh, it covers whole thing okay what it consists of function of blood everything so that's why i'm giving like this so if you understand the topic blood whatever they may ask you can fill see here so full form of rbc it covers red blood cells wbc so everything it covers so learn like topic don't learn like question and answers okay so let's learn let's learn about blood Trans blood transports food, oxygen and waste products. It consists of plasma, red blood cells, white blood cells and platelets. So here, what is the work of blood means? It transports food, oxygen, waste products to whole part of the body. So this is the work of the... This is the work of the blood. So it consists of blood it made up of plasma rbc and wbc rbc means red, red blood cells wbc means white blood cells and platelets so this is the components if they ask component of blood component of blood means so blood is made up of four things one is plasma one is rbc wbc and platelets these are the components of rbc sorry the blood next what is the work of plasma plasma transport food water carbon dioxide nitrogenous waste etc okay then what is the work of wbc as rbc rbc cells transport oxygen then what is the work of wbc wbc cells kills the harmful microbes and protects the body this is the function of wbc function of rbc function of plasma getting then what is the work of platelets platelet helps in the clotting of blood and prevent the loss of the blood injury if you get cut by knife so here the, after few minutes the blood gets clot no so that is due to platelets if blood will not clot blood will flow then then you may lose more blood so platelets helps to clot the blood to in the it prevents the loss of blood injury so see here in blood topic you cover everything 
what is the function of blood we understood so blood is made up of four things plasma rbc wbc and platelets we understood what do what is the work of plasma what is the work of rbc what is the work of wbc what is the work of platelets understood so learn like this don't learn like question answers next one next come to arteries arteries carry pure blood from the heart to all part of the body they are thick walled and do not have valve so here arteries means so in heart we have different this one so when heart uh, the diagram will come i'll explain here so now just understand the arteries artery means it takes pure blood from the heart to all part of the body so work of arteries is this it has thick wall understood next come to veins so it carries impure blood from all part of the body to the heart so see here from heart to from heart to all part of the body from heart to all part of the body arteries take pure blood pure blood that carries through arteries impure blood is there na from the body so from body impure blood taking by veins so veins takes the impure blood from the body to the heart so what is the work of veins means it brings impure it brings impure blood from the body to the heart this is veins okay what is the work of arteries means it takes the good pure blood to heart to all part of the body this is artery this is veins this is the work of artery this is the work of vein understood so so now you understood what do you mean by artery and what do you mean by veins now come to capillaries so capillaries are very narrow vessels which connects arteries and vein together so this is are the vessels it connects the veins and the artery the exchange of food water oxygen carbon dioxide between them the blood cells takes place through the capillaries this is the function of the capillary now come to the main part of this topic heart what do you mean by heart then how structure of heart how it is there then function of heart so if you learn like this you will cover whole question answers about this okay don't learn like question and answer learn as topic so now come to the heart what do you mean by heart heart is a muscular organ which pumps blood to all part of the body It's finished what do you mean by heart heart is a muscular organ which pumps blood to all part of the body next structure of heart how it is there so it has four chambers upper chambers are called artia and lower chambers are called ventricles you can say it's auricles also upper chambers are called auricles lower chamber calls are called are called ventricles or artia you can say so this is the structure of the heart now what is the work of ventricle four chambers upper chambers two upper chambers are called artia atria two lower chambers are called ventricles since the ventricles pump blood to the different organs its walls are thicker than artia so the right and the left chambers are separated by a septum here right and left chambers are separated by a it's called septum this is called septum it prevents the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood the atria and ventricles have walls between them to prevent the blood flowing backwards so here so this is left and right auricles means atria upper chambers these are all ventricles lower chambers so heart has four chamber two auricles are atria two ventricles auricles so here first thing hmm here in pure blood will come in pure blood pump to the ventricle that ventricles gives this impure blood that is deoxygenated blood to the uh, this one pulmonary art see here pulmonary vein is there na so here pulmonary vein takes out the deoxygenated blood to the lungs 
so from there it collects the oxygen and come back to the heart so that or that come back to heart pure blood comes to heart then that push to ventricles from ventricles it goes to all part of the body pure blood so this is the work of heart next working of heart or circulation system of the heart so first thing so i am explain here see in the diagram first in the right atrium so here deoxygenated blood that is impure blood comes from all part of the body to the heart which brings by veins veins we learned now what do you mean by veins what is the work of veins so so veins do carry out can take out the impure blood to the heart that come to uh, this one right atrium so that right atrium to it pumps out then lub dub will do na so that means pumping out pumping in so when it contract that is called sisole so it comes to deoxygenated blood comes to ventricle so from here veins brings the deoxygenated blood it is in the right atrial uh, auricle from there it comes to right ventricle so this is still de uh, this one uh, deoxygenated blood so that deoxygenated blood goes to the pulmonary artery here pulmonary artery is written so pulmonary artery to the lungs so what is the work of pulmonary artery means it takes the impure blood from the heart to the lungs it takes out the impure blood from the right ventricle to the lungs so there it exchange the oxygen it takes the oxygen takes oxygen and comes to pulmonary vein so here it is coming in pure blood so pure blood is coming in left atrium so from left atrium to left ventricle understood so left ventricles from there pure blood is going out here aorta or is artery so here we have three different valves so this goes different direction in the part of all part of the body understood first thing veins will brings the deoxygenated blood to the right atrium from right atrium to it goes to right ventricle from right ventricle it goes to pulmonary vein to lungs so there it gets the oxygen then then oxygenated blood comes to pulmonary vein to left atrium to left ventricle from there it goes to all part of the body this is the work of heart see here is also there so from where to where it goes see here so this is heart this is heart uh, upper is auricle this one is ventricle this is ventricle part this is auricle part so here see first thing from see here here it's coming in deoxygenated blood so here from deoxygenated blood to lungs it going out to lungs means impure blood it going out after receiving the good blood it comes to like this see here it comes here from here it comes to all part of the body this is the function of heart understood see this is in the theory part when the left atrium relaxes oxygenated blood from the lungs flows into the pulmonary vein it contracts and the left ventricle expand and blood flow into it then the left ventricle contract and oxygenated blood pump out to the aorta to all part of the body mm. after circulating through all part of the body the deoxygenated blood enters to the right atrium through the vena cava veins or vena cava that whole this one is there that is vena cava when right atrium contracts the right ventricle expands the blood flow into it then the right ventricle contract and blood pumped out to the lungs to the pulmonary artery i showed now 
so when right ventricle pumped out that blood goes to the pulmonary artery that pulmonary artery takes the deoxygenated blood to the lungs in the lungs carbon dioxide is removed and oxygen is absorbed and oxygenated blood is enter again to the left atrium and process is repeat understood this blood uh, this blood flow through a heart twice in a cycle it is called double circulation next come to lymph what do you mean by lymph it is a colorless fluid present in intercellular spaces where it present intercellular places it is formed from the, it is formed from the plasma which escape from the capillaries when capillaries taking out some this one uh, proteins from some plasma will come out because capillary has very thin walls so from there plasma will come out that plasma is coming to that is called limb that limb drain into a limpical capillaries which forms limb vessels and uh, joins joins into the large veins so limb is transport digested fat what is the work of limb means the trans it is it transport digested fat and drains the excess fluids from the intercellular spaces back into the blood it contains lymphocytes and kills and germs and protect the body this is the function of limb understood so learn like this don't learn as this one so now let's learn how mammals birds amphibians reptiles and fishes have different kinds of heart so let's start heart in mammals mammals and birds have four chambered heart right and left sides of heart separated by a septum same so mammals means we are also considered as mammals so birds is also a mammals so birds have four chamber and uh, birds have four chamber this one then this prevents the mixing of deoxygenated blood and oxygenated blood provide the efficient supply of oxygen this is necessary because they need to more energy for their body next heart in amphibians in amphibians they have three chambered uh three chambered iron some are mixing in oxygenated and deoxygenated blood because they do not use energy for maintain their body temperature next heart in fishes heart in fishes they have two chambered heart only two chambered heart blood is oxygenated in the gills in gills they are oxygenated so these are all the so this is circulated part in vertebrates four chambers two chambers this is two chamber this is three chamber this is four chambers next one transportation in the plant transportation in the plant goes through xylem and phloem xylem transport water and minerals and phloem transport phloem transport food and food to the leaves to all part of the body this is a notes if you read you can easily understand so this is transportation in the plant so this is right next part is excretion stay tuned if you are new to my channel subscribe my channel for more such videos thanks for watching bye bye